Good evening, Mr. Eddie. Evening, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're well. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm very, very fine. Um, so I wanted us to um do today's session as we normally do every Monday and every uh every Friday. But today we are going to prepare for this week. So we'll have some good treats for this week, like like we did last week or so. So without saying much, let's just uh, dive into the video. And then if, in case you don't understand anything that I'm explaining, you can also speak up. So we will work on what we should um, work for this week. Uh, I think the pairs we chose for the previous week, um, we had GBP, USD, GBP, JPY, gold, NAS 100, um, and then Euro GBP. But for today, we are just going to go through all the pairs I have on my watch list. So we can also um, add some other juicy setups. We can also add some other juicy um, traits that are setting up for uh, this week. Are you guys with me? Yes, I'm still here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so um on GBP USD, um the week started on with um a bearish trend, which we saw on the daily time frame today. We saw um um the market tapping into a uh, fifty a uh, golden zone. The market tapping into an uh, area of um interest, and for this, I was still saying um it's not still ready to go up yet because we still have um a lot of room for the market to touch this um ascending trend line which we saw building up from april 2024 we saw the second touch around july 2022 and then um we should probably have that third touch before we see the market um rallying to the upside which i still say um that for this we are still not um red we are still not ready to go up yet. But then if you are looking at the four hour time frame, you can see that we had a counter trend line drawn from the top of this. And then um we saw the second touch, which um drove market to the downside, which we saw uh the market tapping into the golden zone today. And then what I'm going to be expecting is um if we do have a break above this level and then the retest then we should be buying from the retest so this will be our own area of interest this will be our own area of interest once we do have um a break above of this counter trend line this will be our own area of interest now this will give us a chart um, pattern which will be the inverted head and shoulders which um, is a which is a bullish continuation to the upside this will be the left shoulder this will be the head and then this will be the potential right shoulder so this is what i'm looking at for for gbp usd in the next couple of um days if we do have remember i'm saying if we do have a break above this counter trend line this is a counter trend line this is not a trending trend line this is a counter trend line the trending trend line we have is the one we have down below here this is a trending trend line you can see how the market has been moving um from it so we should likely um come in here and then have the same thing we um had previously should come in here if at all we do get the break um out of this um counter trend line then we should expect a retest um uh, giving us a higher low from here what I'm trying to explain is if this high is sticking out, if this high is sticking out, then we see the market coming back. Just know it's not um it's not a downtrend, it's actually a pullback. Now this will become a low, this will become a higher high, this will become a potential higher low in the market. And we enter the market at um if you are buying, we enter the market at a higher low. This will be our own buy point. Um, from this zone, our stop loss will come right uh, below, right below the low. 
the last low the market made, which is roughly about 60 pips, 64 pips or so. Or if you want to um, be careful with your own stop, you can as well put your own stop uh, below the golden zone. And for me, if I'm trading like this, this is um this is like the best way for me to trade. My take profit is going to be at um around 1.31421. Remember, always take partials at the 100% retracement and the 100% retracement is equal to the net, the previous higher high the market made, the previous higher high or the previous lower low the market made depending on the trend, if it's a bullish or um, a bearish trend, depending on the trend. So if the market does, um, all if all the criteria are met for going long on this, I would love my stop loss to come right below here allowing the market to breathe so even if it's going to come back and then touch this trend line for the third time i'm comfortable um, uh, with the market being in this drawdown i waiting for the market to go out of drawdown uh, mix that higher low in the market then i add more positions to that so this is what i'm going to be looking at for, for the week if that happens um that would be a very very good one for us to um trade for this week remember this week i think this week we have we have for this week we have nfp um tomorrow we have um german primarily cpi around okay this one is all day then we have usd s and p this one is a this one is um not high impact then we have cb consumer confidence tomorrow 3 p.m then i think on friday we have um, non-farm payroll also so this should um this should give us a proper trend in the next couple of days two or three days before nfp this should give us a proper trend so this is what i'm looking at for um gbp usd in the next couple of days is there any questions guys Not for me. Okay. Any questions, guys? Okay, okay. He said no. Okay. All right, no problems. So um next where we look at um GBP card. No 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 sign at all. No sign at all. Remember we're still waiting for the market to come down here to um retest around here. So uh, for GBP card, we're still waiting for the market to come down here, which we haven't still um, seen any possible outcomes for it coming. It's just in a range that's just been in a range for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last nine days, the market has just been in a range, which is why I didn't really pick uh, this pair amongst those that will be trading for this week. The next one, um, GBP NZD. GBP NZD has reached a previous high in the market, still going up. Next one is um, GBP CHF, which I called out today in the group, which gave us a very, very um, good uh, risk to reward. So what I saw on um, GBP CHF was actually a very, very simple setup for us. It was actually a very, very simple setup. I'm running in about um, $500 profit. So this, uh, the market gave us this low here. If you look at this, we do have a chart pattern in play here, which is the inverted uh, head and shoulder pattern. Inverted head and shoulder pattern, which is a very, very good one for us. You may look at this as um, a double top. And that person might look at it as um, an inverted head and shoulders, given the trend of the market, given the overall trend, the current overall trend, the uh, the the weekly is still giving us that double top. And then if you come down to the daily, the daily is giving us an inverted head and shoulders, which we have 
um, the left the left shoulder here, the head here, and then the market came right into the third touch of this trend line and gave us the right shoulder, which was why I was um hinged on going long on UBPCHF. And then coming down to the four hour time frame, you can see where we had a change of trend. The market tapped um the trend line for the third time and then went on here to make a high, came back to make a higher low. Looking at the one hour time frame, you can see that that was what actually happened in the market. We had a low here, we had a high here, the market made the higher low, and then now it has um actually made a higher high in the market um to continue with the trend to the upside. So this was the reason why I called the lungs on GBPCHF early this morning and actually is floating in profit now. I executed around here. So actually it's floating in profit. We are uh, also we had a trend line here, a trend line here, which um this place kind of looks like um like the neckline of the inverted head and shoulders. Once once we come up here then we bridge this point and we know we are looking for a retest to continue uh, buying to the upside. And then if you flip this to the, if you flip this to, if you flip this, you can see that it's actually um, looking like that chart pattern I spoke about. It's actually looking like that chart pattern, a perfect chart pattern. Inverted head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, and then we have the right shoulder flipping this back. You can see that we have a very, very good chart pattern indicating to us that the market is actually um, going to the upside, depending. I don't really know what the market is going to do, but whatever it does, I would um, follow along and then we trade from it. So this is for GBPCHF. The other currency we're looking at was um, GBPJPY. GBPJPY uh, still haven't uh, met my criteria for going long on it we although this area looks very very strong for gbp um jpy but then um should at least get the market spiking down here before we see the continuation to the upside as normally it does we should get the market spiking down here before we see that continuation to the upside so this is what i'm expecting guys give me one second please Guys, are you still are you still following? Please let me know. Are you guys still following me? Okay. Please, what about the others? What about the others? So for um, GBP, JPY, still waiting on the market to give us that trade entry. Still haven't gotten, um, it's just a bunch of consolidation here, which I'm still not convinced that the market um, is, is ready to go up yet. Although if we come on here and then we break um, this, this trend line, this um, counter trend line that has been building up for the last couple of um, weeks, since 24 july then we should be looking for a retest but then i won't be going um 
long on GBP JPY if my own criteria is not if my own criteria is not met at all. Are you guys hearing me? Are you guys hearing me? Okay. So I won't be going um long on GBP JPY if the criteria are not met. If we don't come back here to touch this trend line for the third time, you remember on the weekly time frame, um, we had these touches of the trend line. The market never um stopped moving. The market never um the market didn't move until we had those touches on this trend line. So what will give us that reason for the market to continue moving from this point? Not at all. Unless we have this and then the market comes back to retest the trend line around this point, just like the market um, consolidated here before it actually came back to retest the trend line here. So unless the market goes up and then comes back to retest, but until then, I wouldn't be going long on um, GBP JPY for now, just because of um some sentimental reasons um reasons towards the yen currency. So that is all for GBP JPY. Someone said I should go, I should analyze GBP AUD also. So let's look at GBP AUD. Let's look at GBP AUD from the weekly time frame. Let's plot our key levels. We have um two thousand two point we have two K then we have one nine five one point nine five K so um we have one nine k so looking at the weekly the monthly time frame we come down to the weekly time frame looking at the weekly time frame now the we had a double bottom uh, for the past weeks. We had a double bottom for the past weeks, which the market rallied all the way to the upside, breaking above the neckline of this double bottom, which I was also um, talking about the neckline. If you look at this neckline, it's actually drawn somewhere around there up to the body of this week. This is, this is the neckline of this double bottom. We have the neckline of this double bottom right um, around here where I've joined this. So what I was actually explaining was um, if you look at this, the movement from the bottom, the right bottom of this neckline to the neckline, if you look at the, the movement of this right bottom to the neckline, and then you place this to like this, you can actually see that after the market broke above the neckline, it actually calculated that range we had between here. Guys, give me a second, please. So if you look at the range, this is what usually happens. If I wanted to go long on this, but I've just waited for this consolidation to happen. I know this is this is tech this is pure technical analysis. If I wanted to go, which I wasn't even interested in um trading GBP AUD. I knew that this is going to happen because it has happened. I've studied it, it has happened several times. If I wanted this, I would have just calculated, took my profits off here, and then waited uh, actually for the markets to come to the downside before we buy from the neckline again. So for now, what I'm going to be expecting for GBP AUD is for a comeback to retest the neckline together with the Fibonacci area. 
together with Fibonacci area to retest the neckline together with Fibonacci area around uh, this area before we see the market skyrocketing to the upside again. So this is what I'm going to be expecting for GBP AED. If we if the market gives us that um selling opportunity, the market gives us that selling opportunity, then just know that um the next level target forget um uh, this consolidation that the market um, um built up here the liquidity has just been taken off people stops um uh, people stop losses were right above this area you can see that the you can see that the first time it came people sold second time it came people were still selling third time it came people also sold fourth time it came people also sold so the market seeks liquidity the market seeks um, liquidity and wherever liquidity has been built up for a couple of days or months or even weeks, the market be rest assured that the market will definitely come back to take that up. So imagine here now, this was a previous area of support, 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 and then boom, the market came right and then took the stop losses that you are settling down below here. You can, even if, yeah you have a lot of money your stop loss wouldn't be wide as this unless for those that don't use stop losses your stop loss wouldn't be wide as this so you can imagine what has happened here now so what we are expecting is for a close down here liquidity has been taken stop losses has been taken from this area here so we are actually going to be expecting the market to come back here retest here give us confluence double bottom on the four hour time frame or even inverted head and shoulders on the four hour time frame then we go long on um gbp aud again but for now looking at the four hour time frame the market is actually um the market is actually trying to make um we had the high here the market made a low here we should come in and then make a lower high then to continue selling on um, gbp aud continue selling. you can see that the market on the four on the one hour time frame the market has just made that double top here to continue selling if this happens then you should be looking at um, the market breaking this low here break the low come back to retest it and then continue selling from uh the the zone where it broke so this is what i'm looking at for for gbp aed as to the 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 person that said i should analyze it um to look at it this is what i'll be looking at it from so looking at the other currency which is tied to um looking at the other currency which is aed usd aed usd also has that similar if you look at gbp chf look at gbp chf aed usd also has that similar look this sell-off i saw this sell-off coming after uh, the market broke above here we had um, this liquidity that has been building up for the past uh, months now people were selling 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 all of a sudden the market came right and then took stop losses above here the market dropped drastically to the downside now the market is um kind of um, preparing for that uptrend given that the market has come back into uh the market has come back into the fibonacci zone also um giving us the vibe of this trend line here giving us the vibe of this trend line second touch of the trend line giving us the vibe of if you actually draw this from the previous trend line we had No, let's just stick to this one, giving us the vibe of this trend line here to continue buying to the negative 0 0.27 FIB extension, which is which is around um, 0 0.63130. So
So um, this is what I'm going to be expecting on um, AUD USD, but I'm not interested in AUD because we have some other pairs which we are trading also. So if um, you are selling on GBP AUD, you should be buying on AUD USD. So that's just it. So let's move on to the next currency pair, which we have to have on the list. I think we stopped on GBP, JPY. So let's go to good. Good. I was, um, thank God I didn't move my stop loss to break even. If not, it would have taken me out. Um, and then I learned one thing that whenever you place a trade, just allow the market to reach um, the 100% retracement, which is always at the previous high or the previous low the market made before you move your own stop to break even. That was why I left my BTC to run and coming up, coming back to my chart, I saw a loss of $61. I was in profit about $174. I came back to see a loss of uh, $61 on my own MT4 account. So for good, we are actually looking for a continuation to the upside if we if we have that from tomorrow we are looking at the continuation to the upside we retested this area again the market um gave us the market um rejected from the third touch of this trend line this is a counter trend line drawn from the top of this place here uh, this is a counter trend line drawn from the top of this place here to the down Actually, the market retested um, this trend line for the fourth time and then also retested um, around psychological level of 2400, which is also giving me um, double dabs. But then if you look at the overall market's trend, you can see that the market is still bullish. And given um, the retest, you can see how the market retested this trend line here very, very perfectly market retested it and after that we saw the other four hour candlestick go back um, into profit again so what i am actually expecting since the market has sorry what i'm actually expecting since the market has built a range here i think for me in my own opinion the market is going to come right into this range here and then give us that sign that it wants to drop again and then um, skyrocket the upside. Mind you, we are looking at the overall trend for good, the overall trend which is definitely bullish, um, given that the monthly time frame has been bullish for quite some time now. The um, weekly time frame has been bullish also, um, provided we had on the markets um, giving us this range for the past couple of weeks and then if you look at last week the candlesticks closed with small small um, bodies for the previous weeks the candlesticks closed with small small bodies which um, the downtrend is still not what we should be looking at because there's no momentum to the downside yet there's no momentum to the downside which also kept my own bias on going long on bit um going long on good because if you see the other bullish candles we had, they were very, very massive. So coming down to the daily time frame, we had the same thing. The market gave us uh the market gave us this uh, inside bar, which is a bullish harami candlestick inside bar, which is a very, very good one. Around the golden zone, we drew from the um low to the high of uh, the chart. If we draw your Fibonacci. From low to the high of the previous chart, you can see how the market came right into the extension of the Fibonacci extension of 0.618 and then rejected um, around there, which has also um, given us some profit for the last couple of days. So this is what I'm going to be expecting for uh, good. If we come on here and then we break above this high. We should be looking at um, the market rallying or the way to the upside. Now, this is a low. This is a high. Potentially, this should be a higher low in the market to give us a higher high to, con to give us a higher high to continue buying to the upside. So this is what I'm looking at for 
for good in the next couple of the next couple of um days if that happens then so be it the next currency i we're looking at for is um next currency is um Mm, Euro GBP, Euro GBP. I also spoke about Euro GBP. Um, Euro GBP came right into the golden zone, which we drew from the last low, the, the last high, the last lower lower high the market made to the current um lower low the market has made. Came into right there and then rejected. Though I didn't catch this straight from the top. I'm still looking at an entry signal if we come back to retest this trend line as of tomorrow. If we come back to retest this trend line around here, filling up this gap to retest also the bottom of this week. To come back to retest it, then I'll, I'll, I'll add a position. I will open a position, sorry, around here to target the lows we have uh, around the negative 27 fib extension and then potentially. 0 0.82879 so this is what i'm going to be looking at for um, euro gpp if that happens and i'm going to be going um short on euro gpp hopefully i'll go short on euro gpp hopefully provided my entry criteria are met so that's just it guys i think we are done i'm done uh, if you have any other thing to share, please, I will hand over the screen to you right away. I will hand over the screen to you right away. Dave, are you ready? Dave, are you ready? Pigs, you want to share anything for us? No. Let, uh, let Dave go. Okay. Dave, please, I'm waiting for you. Yes. Hello. Yes, we are hearing. Okay. okay, let me share my screen now. Mm. Well, I don't really have much, but let me start with NZD USD. Sorry, um, Samuel, welcome. I didn't even notice. Samuel is Samuel. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm good, sir. Do you have anything to share with us? Mm, not really. But I hope you, are, you have been trading or you are just starting. Well, I've been I've been trading. How many years? Um I think it's going to a year. Okay, how is it going? It has its times. 
Hope you are okay. Hope you are learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, no problem. Thank you. So this is um USD. The overall trend is downtrend if we look from the weekly time frame. But this happened. There was a consolidation here, and there is a breakout down below. So I think it has been testing this place throughout today. This last daily candle that opened this Monday morning has been testing this region, but I think it's rejecting. Probably hoping for a retest of this level, this upper level, then maybe continuation of the downtrend. If we check on the people our time frame, I think there has been some bullish yeah. movement already. Yeah. No, okay. Mr. Eddie, can we consider this as a pin bar? This last bullish candle here. This this, this one. This is a four H, right? Yes, this is a four R. Let's see the daily time frame. Okay. Okay, so this is the the Yes, yes, yes. The, 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 this is I saw I saw this over the weekend. This is like this is just looking like uh what we had on GBP the double bottom we had. Can you kindly go to the uh weekly, weekly. Yes. yeah Yeah, this is the weekly time frame. Yes, I saw this over the weekend. I even wanted to call you guys' attention to it, but then I didn't remember at all. So uh, yeah. this is looking very, very bullish to me, provided yeah. provided it gives us that uh, chart pattern. And then if you look at the four-hour time frame, you can see that um, the market has taken out that low. Uh, it's yeah. Please go back to the four hour time frame. Okay. So this is it here. Yes. I think. The, the market took out the consolidation we had there and then now it is set. If if I were you, I would enter I would enter like right now before right. Just enter. I was I was, the only thing was Waiting for maybe like twelve, but I think maybe I'll do that now instead of waiting till twelve. Um, you for me, I trade. I enter when the market when I think the market is not ready to go yet. So that okay, and my stop comes right where your stop Below. is very very close. It might even stop you out. Okay, your stop loss should be like fifty pips, fifty pips, and then you reduce your lot size. Yeah. Yeah, stop loss. Some, somewhere like this should be okay. 50 pips. Yes. Allow the market to breathe. Yeah. Reduce your lot size. It's going to help you. So, what I was looking out to take like, like this morning, but I think I'm very soon. Maybe after this one call. Then what else do I have? Um, I was also looking at US hundred, but not like taking a trade though, but like for a buy. I was for a buy, but like I was just waiting to see how it play. I was hoping for a third or a third touch or so. Was it? How well, did, sorry, I was how waiting for did, how for did this. How did you sorry, try? I was sorry. Not the downtrend. Don't look at the downtrend. I was looking for the break of this um counter trend line. This upper trend. Yeah, this counter trend line. Yeah. Before I can go bullish on it. So that was what I was looking for. The other one was a mistake. So I'm waiting for maybe a break above then a retest if I go mm. long on it. So then let me look at them. What other pair do I have? Like you said, GBP AUD is still the same 
um Sayas, I have on that I'm waiting for the Uber. Yes. Down to the waiting for the pullback down to this level of support okay of resistance broke then from there i'll be going long probably to the last high of this and that'll be my tp target yeah for that then I think I have um GP Samsung did come down to this level, which I was hoping to for it to reach here, but it didn't. So definitely I'll still be looking if it starts moving out of this counter trend line movement. That's what I'm waiting for. If market doesn't still come back to this resistance, previous resistance zone. Then I think um GPCHF, you call this already, it's already running in profit. I did take this one, Sha. Okay. I was looking for a, a, did, you, did you enter it? Yeah, I entered this one, but I did not enter Euro GBP. Euro GBP, I was also late, like you said, on the call. So I'll probably be looking for a re entry okay. on Euro GBP. Yeah. All right. Well, I actually, I actually felt safe taking this one, actually, like GBP CHF, because no, it was, it was a, more. It's a very good one. Yeah. If you look at CHF, yeah. CHF is. Is not strong compared to GBP. GBP is very strong. Um, yeah. I don't know what is happening in the US now. Yeah. So, like you said on Euro GBP, I think I'll be waiting for that pullback again. On that, because that um movement broke above the trend line, and yes, it broke above the trend line to reach this area as that you marked out. Yes. So maybe I'm looking for maybe the same way you said, maybe a pullback down here yes. of this trend line to reach it. Then I'll now go short on that. Okay. Yeah. I think, right. let me check this ADC. And I'll close it out. We need to another one. I don't know if you're hearing me. Yes, I'm hearing you, bro. I closed that one. Like, I moved it to break even early. AUDC. Of, mm, this is AUDC HF. I don't know. The break of this trend, I think this will happen last week. So I'm possibly looking for maybe a retest of this trend. Line, but I might not really be trading this because most of this pairs usually have spread issues so i don't know how the spread of this would be yet yeah, so yeah. i'll just the spreads are just i'm just contemplating on what will happen on gbpchf yes gbpchf i think the spread there for me is okay that's why i picked it but i might i don't know if i might actually be taking this one because of the spread but i'll just wait to see level here because this is like um a head a head here and two shoulders so probably a retest of this level this neckline where this broke out then mm -hmm. a continuation to i'll just be taking the tp at the last low here of this trend line mm -hmm. and the stop losses are usually very low on GBPCH on AUDCHF. Okay. 
之后才能在第四节。No, I look like. <laughs> um, Are you done? Um, no, my network. I wanted to show you NZDCH, but my network is is bad. Okay. I don't know why it's not coming up. Let me just see if I can open it. Okay. I don't know. I wanted to ask what you'd probably be seeing here. Well, me, I was seeing like this level. Okay. Something like this there. Maybe since he did not um how would I call it the selling pressure might have stopped because this is the last two days and this last candle here might be closing as a pin bar yes this last candle so probably a buy momentum should happen maybe to i don't know which level maybe this level here uh, maybe this level for me one thing one thing with this pairs is uh their spreads are very very high and then they are good for swing trade you know they are very very good because once they start moving they just continue moving like that and then this is a previous area of support also so probably it should good or should go up provided the market moves actually and provided um chf is weaker to the new zealand yeah yeah, because the GBP CHF we are also taking them a buy. Yeah. Yes. So I feel CHF to should also be weaker. Yeah, I don't know if that would actually play out to but no, I don't trade. Would... I don't. I don't. I don't trade like that. Like if I'm trading a particular pair, I'm focusing. On, I'm not looking for the other ones that are attached to the same okay. base currencies I'm trading. So. Okay. So yeah. I'll, I'll just, I'll be waiting for this last candle to close. I, I think I should consider this a pin bar, right? This daily candle, today's candle. Let's see the four hour time frame, please. Okay. But I don't know if I'll actually be picking this because I think I would prefer the answer, the USD. Um, there's consolidation here. Okay, we had the bullish engulfing. That's that should be that should be a um, bullish trend. Okay. Yeah. So, um, how it plays out. That should be a bullish. Yeah, everything plays out. But, but... Okay. All right. So I think that's all I have for now. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. Problem. Thank you. Uh, um, okay. I think we are done today. If you have any questions to ask, please do well to ask before we end for today. If you have any questions at all to ask. And then, guys, don't forget to be managing your risk. Ah, it's very, very important to. Uh, I swear that's the most important thing. <laughs> don't do that. You want to flip account. We don't flip accounts at um our own university. We trade with caution. We know what you are doing. <laughs> we are not trading yeah. to flip accounts. We actually we are actually trading to grow accounts. Grow it. Yeah. Time. I don't know what. You, you be using even if you have ten million dollars. I don't know what you be using it for. So let's just manage and from time to time we'll grow. One person will surely get there before the others, and then that one person, when the person gets there, the person shouldn't forget the the others. That is the. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so that is just it. Let's just trade small, small, and then before you know it, ah. Hello, Dave. 
Can you come to Dubai? Hello, Ah, Kim. Oh. Um. Can you come to Ah? You no go, you no go easy for now. If I reach there, the way I go disturb Natalia. Let's just be going, Sha. Yeah. Uh, so risk management is very, very important. Very, very and then your lot sizing. Ah. Another one, your lot sizing, your account size, your lot sizing is very, very important. If you if you let's say you have hundred dollars and you're using one point ah small small going against small trend going against you, your account has wiped out. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. very very important we know um what we are doing so that we can also be showing our own results soon i'll start post but i don't like the idea of posting results it doesn't make any sense you know but probably us not the mt5 i would suggest maybe um the certificate just like they give certificates one after maybe first or second or first or second drawers or so. Something like that would just be okay. I haven't started withdrawing my man. They said after one month. Okay. My profit are still floating. So hopefully after one month we start withdrawing. That is towards the ending of towards 22 of August. My birthday is on 28th of August. So after my yeah. So hopefully we get we get some payouts coming before December. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we can mm -hmm. so we can buy more accounts. No enjoyment for now. We are working. Yeah. We can buy more accounts to trade. So that's just it for today. I would like to rest. Yeah. No problem. We'll Thank see you so much. much. We'll see you on Good night. Yeah. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Yeah.